Well, Lauren, when all of us in the newsroom watched this video, we all jumped. It's jarring. Here is some of it here, especially knowing what we know now that a two year old girl was caught up in the midst of this. We took this video tonight to city leaders as well as to a local nonprofit, the director of a nonprofit who works to combat this kind of gun violence. The gunfire doesn't stop there. As one car dashes out, it appears more comes from another passing car. That car continuing out of this Durham apartment complex. A shootout caught on surveillance video that left three people hurt, a teenage mother and her two-year-old little girl, and that teen's boyfriend. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. We watched the video with Sherrard Johnson over Zoom from where he was in Washington, D.C. That's where we are as a city right now, man. Unfortunately, I mean, people just don't care. He's a pastor and visionary behind RNS Sports, a nonprofit that tries its best to help combat the violence. I'm trying to keep some of these kids out of the way. So, I mean, I'm taking a group of kids to Myrtle. Well, we just took a group of kids to Myrtle Beach. If you look more closely at the video, you can see the shooting here was not only targeted, but it appears to be coordinated. Two cars coming from opposite sides at this campus crossing apartments. The white Honda SUV goes first, a man leaning out of the window with a high powered gun. Then someone in a gray car shoots and seemingly tries to finish the job. All of it unfolding in less than 30 seconds. The video capturing some screams right afterward. Finally, six minutes later, first responders show up. You got a two year old, you have a three year old. I mean, it's just out of this world, man. Sherrard referencing not just Thursday's incident, but the drive by at Walgreens 10 days ago, which left a three year old hurt. We're trying our hardest, man. But again, it takes so much more than that. It's it, it's a lot going on, you know, and so, man, it's it's rough, but we're trying to do the part that we can. And that's all that's all we can do. The mayor pro tem Mark Anthony Middleton has watched the video as well. He told me that many of the folks in those buildings have asked for help and quote have asked the government to make combating gun violence a top priority. We have also tonight reached out to the DPD once again. We see the cars that left that scene. We have asked them who they are looking for tonight. Nothing back from them at this point. We are also still checking Lauren to see how that two year old is doing over at Duke University Hospital. Last check, she still has life threatening injuries. Back to you.